Now let's install a WordPress template to change the look of our website. This is very easy to do in WordPress and I'm going to show you how. Is it by default your WordPress site is going to look like crap. This is a very plain website and not very useful. Nobody's going to be excited to see this. So, how do you change the look? Very simple. You can install a free template right within WordPress. And the way you do that, you just go to uh, Appearance and Themes. You got here some default themes already. So you can actually select one of those. But how about adding a new one? Themes add new. And you get some ones that are featured, blah, blah, blah. Most of them look like crap too. So, you know, you could go to popular, feature filter, select like whatever you want. Selecting a good template can take a long time. So if you don't have the time and patience and you have a little bit of money, I recommend you hire somebody. And a great place to hire designers, either for logo or for websites, is 99designs. You just go there and you can get started right now and then they'll uh, select a logo and or a business card logo and enter all the details that you want and they'll help you set this up. You get lots of options from different designers. You pick the top one and uh, it's very affordable and pretty fast. So that would be selecting a free template. And to install a, a template, all you have to do is choose the one you like. Let's say you like, man, they're all so ugly. Let's make this one, someone, this one, for example. Actually, I've used this one before. <laughs> it's responsive and it's very simple to use. It's called uh, responsive. And you go and install it. You can actually do live preview, but let's activate it. So there you go. Now if we go and check our site, let's refresh it. It's going to look different. Boom! It looks different. So now we have here home, sample page, call to action, all of that. Well, let's mark that here. We installed a free template. Now if you want to get really good templates, I recommend themeforest.net. You can go here to uh, WordPress, WordPress uh, themes and select the one you like. You can order them by popularity, by how many sales. You can preview them really quickly. These are professionally designed templates that will make your website look awesome. And then you can hire either the original developer to, to uh, customize it for you, or you can get somebody at 99designs or somewhere else at Upwork or elance.com to fix it for you. Um, and there you go. So your site is going to need a home page, a blog page. You're going to have to create an about page, a contact page. That's the minimum stuff you need to have. So how do you do that? Very simple. Just go here and let's start creating some, some pages. Go pages and let's create a new page. You have by default one, so you can either delete it or edit it. I'm going to just delete it and now I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call this one home. Home. This is my home. And I can go and publish it. There you go. My first page. And I'm going to do the same thing for about and contact at new. About. I'm awesome. Make sure you put something here very compelling. Personal. The about pages people look at and they give you credibility. If we go to my about page on Grumo Media. I spend quite a bit of time making sure that it looks good, that there's a lot of information. Um, and here it is about. By the way, I'm not happy with this template. I gotta change it. But it's been very functional, actually, it converts very well. 
it's not even responsive but if you it's mobile friendly so if you see my website from an iPhone or a, an Android phone it actually looks different and it's responsive and there's a lot of information the videos of me a little bit of my story you know it's important that you spend some time really thinking about what you put here because it's um, it's worthwhile it really builds you know there's humor there are videos there's a lot of links to other interesting articles this is taking this is the work of, of refining over years and I think it works really well and people get to know who is behind the website which is really important. Um, let's publish this one as well and we're going to create now a contact page add new contact fill in the form below. Now remember that we installed Contact Form 7, which is a plugin that allows you to, ins to uh, insert forms into your uh, pages or posts. So, but there's also a way you can do it like this, at form. WordPress comes with its own form uh, plugin installed, but it's not very powerful. Like this is the default one. I can add this to my form right now and I can publish it in, I'll have already a um, a form. So we've created the home page, the blog, no, not the blog page yet. We've created the about page. We're going to finish the contact page. I'm skipping the order here, but it's, uh, it's because it's not so relevant whether it's in order or not. Uh, it's not a big deal. So we can preview the page contact so you can see that there is a uh, form here and um, it's important to make sure that when you fill in this, you actually fill in where you want the notifications to be sent. So we we'll go here again, email notifications. You can here say where you want it to be sent. That way, when whenever somebody fills in the contact form, let's say that this is for new leads, then we can go and add it to the to the to the post. Now, all the if you're using the default form, all the comments are going to appear under feedback. And let's do just a real quick test, and then I'll show you how to set up contact form seven. So let's preview this page here. So la la la, lu lu lu, la la la, li li li, submit, and. What happened? I, I wrote a fake email and sorry, this one is also gonna fake, but it's not, it was not formatted correctly. Let's click again. And it's been submitted. I'll get an email saying that somebody filled, my, my, filled in my form at this website, blissbook.com. But what's interesting is that all those uh, contacts all the, every, every time the contact is formed, it appears under feedback. It's interesting. It's a contact form, but WordPress says that it's, uh, it's feedback, which yeah, it could be feedback. But I want to actually have a more robust uh, contact form. So I have one here. Go to contact and contact form one, and that is the default one. But then you should set up also, uh, you can set up to whom the the, comp the notification is going to go every time somebody fills in. You can actually edit the message body. You can have the, I did the different messages if, if people make errors uh, fill in the form. And you can have also additional settings here. So how do you insert this? Very simple. You have here what is called a short code. You can copy this short code. And then when we go to our contact page and we click edit, we'll delete the form that we just inserted. And I actually like to work on text mode because it, you have more control over the code, but you can do either way. You can update it. And now we'll be using contact form seven form. We click on view page and we'll have a form. 
it looks almost the same as the other one except using contact form 7 it's a lot more powerful. I'm not going to go into the details but you can do a lot more stuff with contact form 7. Fantastic! Oh one more thing it is if you want to make sure that this is connected with Akismect to avoid being spam uh, let me just show you how you do this contact form 7 Akismet you click here and this is the website of the creator the way you do this is by ensuring that you put Akismet author or of author email let me just show you how that it goes just go here and here add this and for email you would do this so that already checks for two fields making sure that they're not um, they're not spam there you go and you can read more about it if you want to make sure that it's uh, covered it's, it's protected by Akismet so once I have that I can save it and then I know that my contact form is spam proof at least 99% of the time fantastic what's next so we created the contact page, we make sure that it was spam protected. The next thing we're going to do is create a blog page. Let's do that. This is where your blog would go. So let's go and create a new page. And I'll show you why you need to create a separate page for your blog right now. And publish. It's created. And now we're going to do setup front and block pages. So how do we do that? Very simple. We go to settings, reading, and now we're going to select a static page for the front page and the post page, which is your blog. So here, that's where we create the home, and here, post page, the blog. And then we go and save it. That way, our home page is the page that we decide is the home page because by if not by default the home page is the blog page because WordPress originally was an exclusively a blogging platform this can be a little bit confusing just make sure you follow these instructions and you'll be fine hey did you enjoy this video if you want to see more like this just subscribe here if you want a free gift click here yeah which one is going to be the one